you start with a beautiful car like the 300 or the Charger uh, that have a lot of creature comforts to begin with, and then we can make the performance aspect of it, you know, add on to that. Um, heated and cooled cup holders, heated and cooled seats, all the safety systems, backup cameras, uh, front radar for crash protection, uh, for cruise control, all these things we can, we can add on to the performance car. We benchmark a tremendous amount of wheels, Porsches, Ferraris, Abarths, uh, the VW GTI wheel. Uh, racing wheels um, and we looked at the aspects of those wheels and picked out cues from that and, and put them on our wheel um, it's still a comfortable wheel to drive down the street every day but then you've also got palm rest and thumb rest where you can place your hands when you're on a track and you want to put your hands in the right place and have something to really grab onto a feature on the wheel that you can really sink your hands into the damping system is really really a highlight of the car. It's new for us for 2012. Uh, adaptive damping. It's a Bilstein shock with a Conti controller. And what it is, it's basically like having two shocks on the car at the same time. Um, there's an auto mode and a sport mode. When you're in auto mode, you get a nice um, sporty but comfortable ride. You can drive on broken concrete roads and not, not feel jarring inputs. Uh, with the push of a button, you can go into sport mode and the dampers become very locked down in compression and rebound. Uh, tremendous body control on the car and tremendous grip placing the tire on the, on the, on the road surface. We improve fuel economy and the way we've done that is with uh, fuel saver technology which uh, when not needed reverts to four cylinders. It shuts off four cylinders in the, in the engine and runs on four cylinders. And we can do that from speeds of 30, as low as 35 miles an hour to over, well over the speed limit, let's just say. Um, when you don't need 470 horsepower, we're not gonna make it run. We're just gonna put fuel in the cylinders that need it to keep the car going. And then it, at the blink of an eye, when you hit the pedal and you need more torque, you've got it instantaneously. You've got all 470 right there for you. Brakes are uh, Brembo brakes. We've been using them, Brembo, for quite a few years, and they're fantastic, and we've, we've actually improved them even further this year. We've, we developed them in 2005 for the SRT8s, and we took a, a leap forward this, with this new model. Uh, one of the complaints that we've had in the past, not a performance complaint, but has been brake dust, um, and we tried to address that issue with our customers. We now have a new brake pad that didn't lose us any performance at all. you change the setting from auto to sport, you're going to notice the ride changes significantly. Uh, depending on which car you're in, the 300 or the Charger, they're both tuned differently. Um, but you're going to notice a, a significant difference in ride performance. Uh, will the car feel a little firmer? Absolutely, it's going to feel firmer. You're also going to notice a change in the transmission. The transmission is going to shift quicker and firmer. It's going to hold gears longer. So. If you're running down the road, it might not downshift when you lift off the pedal like a normal sedan might. It's going to hold the gear because it thinks you're on a track and it's waiting for the next corner. Um, I think the customer is going to really, really significantly see that difference uh, when they push the button. 470 horsepower, 470 foot-pounds of torque, quarter mile and high 12s. Um, 12, 8, 12, 9 is kind of what I'm considering high 12s, uh, and 0 to 60 and high 4, so 4, 8, 4, 9 in that range there. The Harman Kardon system is pretty awesome. Um, in the 300 and the Charger, we've got 19 speakers, we've got a 10 inch subwoofer. Um, it's, I think the, I think the position, the, the positioning of them is, is, is critical to the car. It's not out there in your face. Maybe if you're a 20-year-old kid, you want a huge subwoofer in your trunk, but this is kind of subtle. But yet it's 19 speakers, 900 watts of power. It's, it's, if it's not the best stereo system that Chrysler has ever produced in a car, it's one of the best. It's fantastic. It's being at the concert in your car.